Don't you think that the music coming from the States, which is, I suppose, a good side of all this trash you're in, has a lot more guts than coming from most other countries? That's always true of any art. Uh, if a country is persecuted and, and bummed out, you usually get really uh, electric artistic endeavors. It's like if a country is very peaceful, I mean, like how, how much great art comes from Switzerland? <laughs> you know, all the stuff comes from, from like where there's turmoil and where people are upset and they react their whatever their emotions are, good or bad. So a peaceful world might be very boring. <laughs> No, not necessarily. It depends on what you do when you're peaceable. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we're peaceable as much as we can, and we don't find it boring at all. Yeah, but you're fighting. You're also still. Uh, got a lot of stuff to look at. Right. I mean, who's to say? I don't even object to killing <coughs> as long as the two parties are both interested in it. Right. In other words, if, if two countries uh, say, now the only way we can settle this because we're so stupid is by uh, uh, killing each other, then, okay, now we're going to have a little sign up here. Uh, all you guys that want to fight to the death, and there are plenty of men who actually enjoy doing that kind of stuff, <coughs> sign up here. And you to get maybe... Wembley Stadium for the, sure, for and the battle between China and the United States. And then you don't have to don't hurt other people. If, if they have to have wars, uh, then they ought to do it by uh, signing up a certain number, like 500 people from Russia and 500 people from the United States and take them down to Australia and let those 500 guys hassle it out and Howard Johnson's could have a big hotel and you could go down there and watch it for the people who like to watch that kind of stuff. Then they wouldn't be killing other men, women and children who don't want to be in a war. <coughs> That's the only thing I object to. If two guys mutually want to kill each other, great, let them kill each other. It gets rid of all the jerks. The airplane, uh, almost always, since the beginning, always demanded certain things before they would play, you know? And fortunately, they were very good. They, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of festivals right now, and they're very careful. We've turned down uh, a lot of very high prices on festivals because there's been so many bad ones. I think this, this festival here in Rotterdam is a very, very excellent festival. But there have been so many festivals where the, the promoters have not cared about the, uh, the people who have come. You know, they make them sit in dirt or something. Uh, they, they don't give them any food to eat. They don't give them any drink. They don't provide hospital things. All of these things are covered very well at this festival. But a lot of promoters are only interested in making money. You know, they don't care about the music. They don't care about the people. They don't care about anything. Are you managing uh, those groups just to make sure they get their money or because you want to keep this kind of music coming to the people? Well, I really enjoy it, yeah. I, I really do enjoy it. I really enjoy the music and uh, I really do, maybe I'm corny, but I really do believe that uh, the bands of today are like spreading the, uh, a lot of truce. And bands like, you know, The Airplane and Santana and the Grateful Dead, our friends, you know. We go around, we play all over the United States. We, we, we're, you know, we play over here, and I think that we're communicating, you know, ideas that are very universal among the youth. And I can see the youth changing all over, and the youth is like starting to take over the world, and I think the world's going to be a better place.